Back with all the latest iPhone 12 news, things are hotting up. We're getting some hardware leaks. Well, at least something that looks like a hardware leak. On Twitter by Mr. White, is this the Apple A14 chipset? Does look a lot like it. I'm not sure about this one. I don't know if Apple do ship their brand new five nanometer chipsets and scatter them around like loose change, but we might be looking at our first look of the A14 Bionic chipset. The A14 chipset, as we know, a brand new five nanometer chip, and it is in production at TSMC, which is the company making all of these chips for Apple, the first company in the world to be using a five nanometer SOC in a smartphone. Super exciting. We also get other news about some of the specs of the A14, a 15% power boost over the A13, certainly good, not massively out of the range of what you'd expect over a yearly increase in power, but the power efficiency savings are just, to be honest, quite insane. Up to 30% power efficiency over the A13, which is massive. So you're getting that power boost and a huge amount of power efficiency as well, which is super exciting. This means that you can run the processor at the top end for longer. It's not gonna overheat. So there are some big performance improvements coming, I'm sure, in the A14 and other five nanometer chipsets that will be coming out uh, early next year. This also can allay any fears because we did have those leaks of the battery specs a while ago, maybe last week. Uh, compared to the iPhone 11 series, actually looking a little bit smaller across the board, which is obviously a worrying thing. Uh, a smaller battery means not really great for battery life, especially if you're adding features. Well, as we can see, maybe the power efficiency of the chip is just so good that Apple don't need those bigger batteries. And as we know, Apple really are just going to give us a day worth of battery life. Less for the smaller iPhone 12, more for the Pro Max you know Apple aren't gonna give us any more than that, and they're just making the batteries the size that are, is required to give us around about a day's life. Also in the news, and this is, well, good news and kind of strange news and very typical Apple. So we got the news that there may be a new type of cable to be bundled in the box with the iPhone 12, and it looks really good, a braided cable possibly, so definitely an upgrade over those flimsy plastic ones that they currently ship with their phones. So according to the information, this new braided cable, if it comes, will be a lightning to USB-C. So that means that, well, if you do buy an iPhone 12 and you are a normal Apple user who hasn't upgraded for three or four years, then all of the charger bricks that you're going to have are USB-A. And that means you have a cable in the box that you can't use with any of your charging bricks. So you will have to go and buy the new charging bricks, which, well, they're not gonna be selling cheap five watt bricks and they will be charging probably quite a lot for the charging brick that is USB-C. So the Apple Pencil on its tip will be actually able to sense light around it and you can essentially touch anything in the real world and it will be able to sense exactly what color that is. Then obviously it will save that color and you'll be able to draw with that color on the iPad, for example, which I think is a really cool thing. I'm really looking forward to more applications like this where we can actually sense the world around us. We know that Apple Glass is coming as well or is being worked on at least with tons of AR applications actually augmenting the world around us so scanning the world and trying to make it augmented and better with technology. Really exciting. We don't know if this Apple Pencil is going to be coming soon or ever, but certainly a cool patent. That's it for now though. Thank you for watching. Subscribe down here if you like it. Thumbs up if it was useful and I'll see you in the next one.